Hey, how's it going? Just making my way back to base from the swamp. Out there doing some scouting because today I want to tame a frog. I kind of want to get stuff together to actually get in the water. Now we've got all the levels for unlocking the scuba gear. So I want to try to get some of that made up. And then after we get the frog tamed, as long as we do it successfully, we should be good. Is that two Alpha Rex? Well, that's a terrifying thing. I have never seen two Rex together like that. I've seen the Raptors, the 45 and the 20. Our base is literally right there. <laughs> we might have to, we might have to actually drag those off soon with the saber. We'll have to see. But yeah, I want to go ahead and try to get into water some. So silica pearls are one thing we're kind of needing to get into the electricity stage and stuff like that. Now there are some up in the snow biome, but I definitely want to get in the water, man. There's a lot of stuff in there we need to do, especially for some biotoxin. I want to start farming that up soon for some other taming. It'll make life a little bit easier. Let me show you something I totally forgot in the last video whenever we built this that I just forgot to do. So some of the building parts are definitely new, as we talked about. I forgot about putting the pillars on the edges, man. So I went ahead and put some some of the wood ones along there and along here. And you guys left me comments about there's another way we can actually do that corner piece right here and make it fit in a little bit easier. We'll have to uh, play with that later. But I did that, and as you can see, there's a water tank up there. It's to, it's to feed these out here. It's some of the plant species. Kind of serves two purposes. One, looks a lot better, dude. Looks a lot better, but it keeps the seagulls away. Holy crap, dude. I tried to edit them out on my game file. For some reason, you cannot edit creatures out with ASA. Not sure if it's a bug. I have all my code in there correctly, but where's it at? Right here. So what I had to do to get it to all kind of line up is we don't have a very long range on the intake. So I put an intake down, put a water tank up here. It's right at the edge of the intake's range. So that one, and then I got that one's boosting over to this one. And that one kind of goes out to, I think it goes out to about right here is what the range is on that. So it's not too bad, man. It kind of works out. I do like the way that the water tanks will span the range of stuff. But then they're all kind of, uh, kind of fed in water down here. So anyways, that's some, uh, stuff I did different. As you can see right here, too, for, like, the little gables. Went ahead and put one pillar coming down and two out from each of the sides. It looks awesome, dude. I like it, man. I wish I would have remembered that in the build video. But, anyways, did that right before I made my thumbnail. So that's why it, uh, looks a little bit different than what we built in the video. Only thing I really wish we could do is 45 degree angles on the pillars. Be fantastic, man. We could actually line the whole uh, whole front side like that then. It'd look awesome, man. Not sure why they didn't put in the 45s, but it's what it is. As for today, let's go ahead and get set up over here. Now what I think we're going to do is, seeing how the swamp we're going to is over on that side, because there's one of the attack helicopters in this swamp, we might take the raft around. I'm not too sure. I want to do the taming off of the saber tooth. Because it is a frog, we need to be able to shoot and run. If we're on foot, we are probably going to take a nap, even though our fortitude is up to 98. Super happy with that, dude. One more point into fortitude, then the rest will start putting into health, I think. And we should be kind of set. So. The rights? They're going crazy, man. I did go ahead and make up a ton of the narcotics. We got 1,200, man. We are so ready for taming. And then I need to start making up some more of the gunpowder. For the shotgun. Let's get that going real quick. We should have some in here. I'm letting this guy run 24-7 just to keep our charcoal going. And I think we're out there. I might need to put some more wood in it. Let's drop you off. Let's check you real quick. That thing is totally empty. Holy crap, dude. Let's grab a little bit of wood. I say a little bit and I grab almost a full stack. Guys, please, it's early in the morning. Leave the fish alone. Take out the seagulls, though. Not the pterodon, not the pterodon. He's fine, dude. He's fine. I miss S+, plus how you can actually select the creatures. Had those things attack. It would be so nice, dude, just to uh, be able to limit what we can and can't have that thing uh, attack. So, for the stuff for today. So, we need three polymer. And 40. So, 43 will get us a full suit. And I think... From what I keep hearing, the mask makes it to where you can actually see underwater. Super excited to try that out. And I think the whole suit has a different texture. It seems like the ghillie is totally different. We haven't got the chest piece or the pants to check it out, but the headpiece and feet look different. So I'm hoping they kind of uh, redid that some. And let's look at the shotguns. 
So 55. So we're looking at just over 100, I think. If my math maths correctly. So we might go up and... Ah, there's two different ways we can do this, right? We can go up, harvest some organic from the penguins, or just go grab some and make the polymer here. We don't have any obsidian, I don't think. Or if we do, it's very little. We do, it's very little. I think most of that I got from drops. So what is it? That and cement paste, I think. I haven't even unlocked the polymer either. Electronics is there. Obsidian and cement paste. That's not too bad. That's actually almost enough. Instead of playing with the penguins, we might just go and farm some obsidian. We could always go to the volcano, and I think over in the redwoods... I know, dude, I know the redwoods. Flying thylas. That little metal mountain that's in there should have some obsidian on it. So let's go ahead and get some of that crafting. If we can get the shotgun made before we head out into the swamp, I mean, that would definitely be a good thing. All right, there's that and that. Let's turn that on. That's going to make up 41. We need 55 for hmm, the shotgun. Let's do this. Wait, does the scuba need organic? Or is that regular? I think it's the galley that needs the organic, right? It is. Okay, we're good there. We're good there. So let's do this. Let's head out on the Argentavis. We got some more points. We're going to avoid the wrecks, fly high to avoid all the thylas and stuff, and I will see you in the redwoods. We'll kind of take a peek around there, too. Now, I did go ahead and empty out our sap taps. Those things are producing like crazy. I had 54 in each one, man. Not too bad at all. So, it seems like that's still producing, even if we're not in range. That was one of the problems on ASE, is on single player, if you weren't in range, or if I, like, logged out over here, Log back in. If I didn't fly to the Redwoods, it would not start producing until I got in range and it actually loaded stuff in. It is producing, though. So it's not too bad, man. We'll stop back by there, maybe, on the way back. And if I remember, we'll grab what's in there. But let's get some, uh... Oh, you know what? I should have brought the Anki. It's fine, man. It's fine. We'll use the pick. We don't need too much. We'll get the Obsidian, maybe a tiny bit of metal while we're there, too. And any crystal that's around. There's a drop there. Much stuff for that. If it's not in the swamp, dude, that's where the attack helicopter was. I do not want to mess with those things. We cannot outrun it. I don't think we can kill it. But we do have the good saddle on the Argentavis, just in case. It is an 85, but the main goal, Obsidian. Went for that drop. The Mastercraft one, the yellow one, got right up to it. Disappeared. You know, got to it. Ah, oh, that sucks, dude. I hate it whenever that happens. I notice on the new drop pods, there's no timer about how long is left. Kind of weird. Not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not. We got eight. It wasn't too long ago that I actually emptied these out. But yeah, man, like I said, you can actually see. I haven't been over here since I emptied them, and they're still still gathering sap. Not too bad, dude. So, that's kind of good. Maybe we'll fly through the redwoods a little bit. We haven't really looked around too much. I mean, for good reason, man. I'm not gonna lie, dude. The flying thylas are terrifying. And if we get hit by one, we're gonna have a problem. But look how thick the redwoods are, dude. Super thick with brush and stuff. I mean, it should be. They were pretty, uh, pretty sparse last time. You couldn't actually see too much of, of foliage and stuff on the ground. Now, oh, uh, dude, the Trudons, the, uh, Microraptors, all the bugs and ants, you can't actually see them, like, far ahead. Oh, there's a Dodic! There's some crystal, too. That's a level 70! Oh, dude, the colors are pretty cool on it. Purple? Kind of like a tan color, too? Junior, you look awesome, man! This one's a male. Let's we'll see what Arge is. I've never really done breeding with Dodix, I don't think. If I have, I don't remember it. This is the mountain we're going to, though, I think, right? Yep. Oh, this side over here. This side over here. That's the one that should have a little bit of obsidian on it. At least it used to. Possibly. Maybe. I could be wrong. It has happened before. Are those... Rare flowers? No, just regular berries. And over on Valgaro, there's some special red plants that look like that. And they actually have, they're like all rare flowers. Super good place to get them. There's a lot of metal. Where is some obsidian? I don't want to have to go to the volcano if we don't have to. It's kind of a long flight. I mean, I know it's right there, but it's kind of a long flight. Oh, here's some here. Nice. We don't need too much. There's some up there, too. We good? There's usually a ton of saber tooth around here. Oh, there's a bunch over there. Okay, so there is some here. Really wish I would have brought the Anki. It's kind of weird having to do everything without the crowd pods now. I like it, don't get me wrong, it's just, it's been so long. 
that I gotta remember how to get stuff done without having an easy way to pick up all of our teams. So let's drop this. Let's turn on the folder view to kind of clean that up. Alright, man, I'm gonna farm some of this up. Wait. Oh, you got building parts in you. Hmm. Forgot to uh, empty that out. I guess we won't farm up as much as I was going to. The main thing we need is the obsidian, though. We'll grab that. We'll trash the stone if we can. Because we got the dodic back at base to farm that up. But I'm hoping to get enough to make the scuba and the shotgun before we head back. I think we're almost set here. It's a 2 to 1 ratio on the polymer or the obsidian. We've got 126. So that's 60 more. I think we had enough for 40 back at the base. Is there any more over here? I want to grab that drop before we head back. It's a little bit more right here. Let's grab these last couple stones and then we should be good to go. Saw a saber tooth over here. Kind of ran off the edge after something. Not sure what level it was. It looked fantastic though, man. I do want to do breeding on our saber tooth. Just for, like I said, the cave runs, dude. They're fantastic for that. Kind of small. They fit in there. They don't take uh, a lot of fall damage either. They get that reduction. Drop you. So we got almost 160. So that should work out, man. That should be almost 80 sheets. I'll grab some more off-camera. Do a lot of farming with the Anki next time. Where's that saber at? He went running off this way. Oh, right there. I don't remember what gender ours is. All right. Let's get over here a little bit. Right, let, let's grab the drop. I don't want this thing to disappear again like the yellow one did. Here comes a saber tooth. Ah, dude. Okay, we got that. We got that. We got this. We got that. Bunk beds. Interesting. I don't care about that or that. Twelve of the intakes. Okay, that's a thing. Junior, I got you, buddy. I got you. Hey, look at the colors on him, man. Looks fantastic, dude. Yep, I know. I know. You're fine. You're fine. You have a good saddle. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, there's hyenas. Oh, that's only a level five. So that's a female. I think ours is a female, too. We'll have to see. Super low level, but if we're just grabbing it for colors, if ours is a male, that'll work out. Let's try to... Lose aggro where he doesn't go into the redwoods. And I have to see what ours is when we get back to base. Hmm, interesting. Be a super simple team, too. All right, back to base. We'll make up the rest of this obsidian into polymer. We'll go ahead and make our shotgun, make our scuba suit, tame the frog, come back, get the scuba suit, jump in the water, do a little bit of exploring, and hopefully not get ate by a megalodon. That's always a thing, too. We're going to be playing with fire here, but I think I want to try to drag these guys back up river some. Just a little nibble, man. Yep, there we go, there we go. Come with me, please, good sir. Let me grab your friend as well. Friends are always nice. However, when it comes to Alpha Rex, it is not nice. Very, very not nice. Are they slower than they used to be? That is fantastic, dude. Those things used to be speed demons. They don't hold aggro very long either. Are you stuck? You have rights? You're going towards my base. I do not like that. Come this way. Come this way. Come on. Come on. Shake a bake, man. You can do it. Look, you are very tall. Leave the bird alone. Might be hard to actually get these guys back to base. What level are you? You're at the 20. Can we kill this guy off? I'm not sure how many uh, hit points they have. Oh, he's already... He's aggroed on the Bronto. There you go, man. There you go. Yep, we got a Carno on us as well. Okay, okay. Watch our stamina is the main thing. If this bird lands, we are... We're all dead. Yeah, guaranteed, man. Guaranteed, we will all get killed. I can't remember. I think the alphas heal when they eat the creature, right? That might be a problem with the Bronto. Not sure how much damage we're going to be taking. Oh, we're taking a lot. Our health is going down pretty good bits. We got some stamina regen. I guess we hit the Bronto as well. Should have some health regen, too. We'll keep an eye on that. As soon as our buff goes away in three seconds, we're going to have to land and get some stamina. I don't think we can actually kill it with this guy. Not sure if I'm going to turn damage numbers on still. I, I, I do like it being off and not having them in my face. It kind of makes it a little bit different whenever you're out hunting too, right? It's like you don't know if you can take something out until you're already engaged and you're about to die. I, I like that, man. I like that. It's terrifying. Sucks whenever you lose a team because of it, but it's a good thing because it makes it more uh, more interesting. Do we want to do weights? I guess so. Get our weight up again. So he's still, he's still on us. I don't see any... 
any blood on him. I mean, he's red too, though, right? Hard to see? We'll try, dude. If we can't, it's gonna be massive levels for us and for the, uh, for the bird. Kind of curious what they have for loot as well. Not sure if they changed that. Okay. Pretty big bites, pretty big bites. I'm watching our health go down very, very fast. See a little bit of blood on his tail. Oh, yep, I do not want to get stuck, dude. If we get stuck, it's going to be a very bad situation if we try to bail out and can't fly. I think we might have to bail out of this, man. We're uh, losing a lot of health on our bird. I've got some arrows, but it's just a primitive crossbow, so it's not really going to work out too well. Now, I noticed that creatures on the ground will actually follow birds now. Like the Carnos and stuff, even if you're you're a little bit higher than what you used to be. So, they used to kind of leave you alone if you were in the air. Now, they still track you. Kind of cool. Oh, dude, speaking of tracking, buddy, <laughs> you're going towards my base, man. It's a terrifying thing. It's a berry. We're going to have to, we're going to have to for sure get on the Sabertooth and drag that guy away. I think. I think we're going to have to. Alright, let's get back to base. We're almost out of stamina. I don't like that, dude. I don't like it being so close, man. We don't have enough of the plant species to actually kill one of those off either. All it's going to do is call him over even faster <laughs> and make the guy mad. Now, it might work out with the saber taking him out if he slowed from the plant species. I don't know, man. I don't want to. I mean, I want to rebuild our base, but not because of that. You know what I mean? Oh, we need to be down here. We need to empty out first. Alright, give me... Can I carry all that? I can't. Can I carry half? I can. <laughs> I'm gonna be paranoid now until he's gone. Alright, so... We need to do this. We need to do that. 40 more of those. We got some bunk beds, dude. Let's set those up here. I think for right now, I, I see a lot of death in our future. We're going to... Place this. Not right there. Can we... There we go. Right there. And we got four beds to respawn on. We'll, we'll probably get rid of these here soon. Let's put our rare flowers in here. We've got quite the collection of rare flowers and rare mushrooms, dude. Just saying. Let's put our saddle away. Try to keep everything nice and neat. I think our saddles are overflowing. They are. So let's drop this one. We've got... Well, it's a built one. Let's go ahead and just keep it. And then we've got... Let's put them out here. Over here. Gunpowder and narcotics. Sorry, I was looking for the wrecks. That's all done. I like it. Let's restack all of you. Fantastic. Let's get some of these going. Let's do 100. And we'll craft that into, I think it's a 2 to 1, 4 to 1, 3 to 1. 3. 3 to 1 on the shotgun shells for the simple bullets. But you get, I think, 2 for each one you craft. So it's, it's dude, the conversions on stuff. I wish it was more uh, streamlined. Oh, we're going over here. Let's make up uh, all that. So that's going to give us around 120 on the polymer. So that's not too bad. Let's grab this. Put this into the forge. Until he's gone or dead or we're dead, I'm going to continuously look over that way. I hate it, dude. I hate it. I'm so worried about that. And these guys are going nuts. How is your fertilizer? You're down to one. You're down to half a one. All right, let's grab some. We got a ton of it, dude. The uh, the plants all have two in there. I believe it's two. We'll grab some from Junior over here. So he wasn't picking up anymore whenever we had, like, the end of the last video. It's because he was full. He's still picking them up. He's got quite a few in there. As you can see, he's got a ton of them, dude. Two, four, five. That's six. That'll be good for out here. Let's check this, too. They were going through berries like crazy. Oh, we're good, man. We're good, dude. We're good. I think the only meat eater is the... Sabertooth. Well, oh, the Argentavis and the Pterodon, but I mean, it's over there, you know? That's all that we have on us. Alright, some for you. Some for you. I need to put him inside the, uh, the barn, too. Alright, all that can kind of stay in there. We will deal with it later. I say that, I'm going to get on the bird to go do farming off camera. Get to the other side of the map and totally forget about it. It happens. 
all of the time. Alright, so we should be good to make our scuba suit real quick. Now, kind of sucks we don't have any of the chowder. I don't think I've looted any from the drops. I did loot a mind wipe tonic. Kind of interesting, man. That's uh, kind of expensive to build. Only got one, which, I mean, it's kind of good for one respec. But we got some more of the soups, too. That one's for the cold area, I think. And we got one for water consumption and one for the heat. So it's not too bad, not too bad. All right, are you done? You are. Let's make shotgun. 66. That is fantastic. That'll work out. So what do we need for the gun itself? We're missing just pedal ingots. Okay. Not a bad thing. I think it was only 30. We might need some for the scuba too, I think. Alright, so we're going to need some chitin, hide, fiber, pearls, crystal. Hopefully you remembered all that, because I have already forgot. What else was it? Oh, pearls. Actually, all the pearls can go in there. I don't think there's anything in the smithy we need it for. Maybe some saddles, but I don't think we're building any. Oh, some keratin. Or chitin. We should have a ton of chitin. A little bit. We got, <laughs> we got a little bit. We got another level! We're almost max level. I cannot wait. So there's our shotgun. Let's do one of you. And you. And you. And you. Normally, I don't make the mask, and sometimes I don't make the fins. But, I mean, it's definitely worth it now. Let's leave you. Change you out for this. That can stay. That can stay, and that can stay. Looking for the Rex. We're going to need this. Let's repair this. Let's grab that. Let's grab these. Is 33 enough? Might as well make them. It'll be fine. Let's put you there. We don't really need the bolas anymore. And we don't need that. Let's reload this. So nice to have a shotgun again. Holy crap, dude. So I want to get one of the attachments for it, too, for the lights. I don't think I have it unlocked. Let's put that into Fortitude. Fortitude is now 100, and we are level... 93. We're getting there. Flashlight. That's gonna be made in the Fabricator. Electronics! The thing is, once we see that guy, it's gonna be too late. Metal ingots. And let's grab these before I forget. It will happen. It does all of the time. Alright, so. There's a full scuba suit. We're not going to take that with us. I do want the light. I can't remember what key turns this on. Does it say? It'd be nice if it told you what button turns the light on. I think it's, it's either F. Or G, I think. We'll see, we'll see. It is neither one of those. Not that. Not that. No, no, no! No! Did I whistle everybody? I did. Boy, I tell you what, stayed... Ah, uh, dude, I forgot to... Okay, look. I need to take that keybind off of... My settings. Okay. Okay. Look, 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 look. I need to just look at my settings to see what key I need to push. <laughs> I always disable that so that I don't accidentally push it. And, yep, didn't think about it while I was trying to find the keys for the light. I will look. I will look. Let's land you there. Let's put that away. Where's the Argentavis? And the Sabretooth, Junior. Junior, look, guys, look. Everybody, stay where you are. It's turning out to be a horrible day. I'm just saying, it started off so well. Is that a galley? Those plants did well. Oh, there we go. A little bit of hide. Let's go ahead and put you inside over here. While we have him there. All right, give me a minute. Let me put this guy inside. 
I'll go ahead and look up to see what key we need to push. And then, uh, <laughs> we can turn the light on at night. Kind of curious with the new lighting effects, how the flashlight will be at night. Should be fantastic, dude. Oh, it should look so nice. It's a drop over there we need to grab, too. I'm gonna just leave him right here by the feed trough. Good place for him, man. Good place. Alright, let's empty this guy out real quick. It turns out, the button we need to push is in. I was close, dude. I was close. I did unbind the, uh, the whistle for follow all. <laughs> We shouldn't have that problem again, dude. Hopefully we won't, hopefully. Let's turn off the fabricator as well. Let's restack it this way. Turn you off. Okay, I think we're set. So we've got... we got some meat. We've got... Oh, we need our... darts loaded in. Reload you. That's set. We're gonna take some of the prime meat with us. Some cooked ones. I think we only need around 40 or so. We're going to take around 60, just in case. And then we'll take some extra narcotics, too, just in case we need to keep him asleep. Not too sure how he works out like that. Not that many. Not that many. We only need about... We'll take 30. That should be fine. I think we're kind of set. Like I said, we are going over on the raft just to be able to get back safe. Oh, we need a saddle. Look, dude. It's been a busy day. We haven't even started taming yet, but we did get a shotgun made, and we got some scuba stuff. That's gonna be made... Is that in our inventory? Oh, it is. Awesome. So, paste, hide, wood, fiber. Let's make it real quick. So we can load everybody back up on the raft and hopefully get back safe. So we need some of this. We need some of this. We need a tiny, tiny bit of that. And we need to grab the paste from inside here. Wouldn't that suck if we were out of paste and couldn't make our saddle? <laughs> That'd be terrible. I mean, it's happened, dude. It's happened. Alright, leave the rest of that in there. I still have not made a preserving bin for the raft. Probably won't, seems how everything always gets destroyed on the backside when we get attacked. But I think we're good now, right? We got the taming food, we got the taming stuff, we've got the saddle. I think we're kind of set. Let's put you on passive. I'm just saying, wait. I'm just saying. I wish we could go out that way. I tried and you get stuck, so we have to go the long way around. Alright, man. Give me a few minutes. Hopefully we'll get up there before it is nighttime. Because I tell you what, dude. I do not want to be in the swamp at night. I kind of want to do some exploring while we're on the cat. Another reason why I wanted the shotgun is because I want to do the exploring on the cat, right? We're going to have problems with capros, I'm sure. We're going to get caproed at least, I'm going to call it now, at least three times before it's all over. Forgot our drop here, too. Alright, so we are kind of coming up on the swamp. Definitely not a safe place, being on land or in water. We'll keep our eye out for some sarcos as well. Now we've got a couple saddles that we have looted. I've used those in the past for quite a bit of stuff, including some of the boss fights. They did fairly well against the Broodmother. Wouldn't mind getting some more again. Just saying. Kind of fun to use. I still gotta get my breeding settings kind of set up for single player for recording. So that might be something I do here soon. So we can actually start getting ready for some boss fights. We already got one of the artifacts. I think it's only three. Four. Is it three or four? For the Broodmother. Gamma. I don't remember. But I definitely want to get some more here soon. Once we get the frog, we'll be able to do both of the artifact caves that are in the water. Now, one's right up over here. This is the worst one. The other one is on the other side of the map by the red obelisk, but... It's kind of hit and miss if that's a hard one or not. It all depends on if the squid spawns inside the cave. So, it's always, it's always interesting, man. But the frog will definitely allow us to grab both those before... Or both of those without any problem. We've used the frog before in this one. And it went okay. It's kind of hit and miss with the... The eels down in the bottom part by where the artifact is. If you got a bunch of eels, it's a bad day. If you don't, you're kind of good, man. So we're going to leave the raft right over here. The 115 I saw is on this side. The 100 is a little bit further in right here. And then the 90 is all the way up kind of that way. So regardless, we're grabbing a frog. I'd like to grab the 115 if possible. It's kind of a weird number, but is what it is. All right, let's put you there. Let's go ahead and put the cat on neutral. Just in case we get attacked by one of the Capros, he'll actually try to fight us off, or fight him off. And protect us if he can. I'm not exactly sure where it was. I was in the air whenever I was scouting. Let's go in right here. Dillo, not worried about him. 
Dude, this place is terrifying, man, on foot. Looks so much better than ASC. We'll go a little bit this way, and then we'll head up that way. It was on this back corner that I saw him. Is that... That's a berry. Berries are pretty good. Use those for taming our basils. Because they take out the mantas, like, pretty easy. I don't see any frogs, though. What level are you? 45. There's a frog. Down there, level 5. Too low level. Definitely not gonna work. Let's loop back up this way. I mean, there's no telling where the frog's gonna be, right? They get around so fast, dude. Yep. Stuck on a tree. Absolutely nothing. It's like a desert. Desert in the swamp. <laughs> it's a way to go sometimes. Yep, yep. Nothing at all, dude. No capros, no sarcos, just a berry and a level 5 frog. Let's try looping back up closer to the shore. This is where we just came through a second ago. He was on this back corner. The lighting, though. The lighting is fantastic, man. Now we gotta watch out for the leads. Or not the leads, but the leeches. I mean the leads, too. The leeches, mainly. I say that as we're down in the swamp. You can gotta see the stuff on top of the surface. It moves as you go through it. That is awesome, dude. Alright, frogs, man. We're looking for frogs, not for graphics. We need frogs. There's a frog here. It's the first one I've seen. Holy crap, dude. What level are you? Are you the 90? You're 20. Super low level. Haven't seen anything. I kind of stuck my head in over here some, and all I've seen was a Sarko and Capro in the distance. There is something in the water I can see kind of moving around. I just don't know what it is. It's a Capro! That might have been what it was. <laughs> I don't know. At least we don't have any leeches or anything. There's a frog over there. That's the thing I keep seeing in the water. That's a 60. I mean, that would work. That's the highest level one we've seen so far. That might be what I'm seeing in the water over here, too, moving. Hmm. Let's take a look real quick. If anything, we'll go for that 60. I don't want to be out here all day. There's a Sarko. It might have been that frog swimming, too. Yep, 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 yep. Piranhas, piranhas. Totally forgot about the piranhas! Okay, okay. Oh, we got a leech! Either we got a leech or our team does. Where'd the frog go? Let's go over here and grab this guy. We'll tag him once, drag him up to the shore. And try to take him out up there. Shouldn't be too many on the darts for level 60. Yep. Where'd the frog go? Where'd the frog go? Oh, we got a gator too! Come on, dude. The swamp is not safe, man. It's never safe. Yep. Let's take you out. At least they don't rip you off. That's a 125! We were just talking about wanting some gators! We could tame him! I don't have a saddle! Let's... Ah, we're gonna kill him. Let's kill him off. We took too long to think about it. Ah, oh, man, we should have tamed that guy for sure. 125 is a good Sarko. I mean, it's the island, right? Everything's kind of super low level as it is. All right, where's our frog? I don't see him jumping. It's definitely uh, more sketchy hunting on the cat in the woods now. <laughs> it's another Sarko. It's a level 90. Okay, so... It's always low-level stuff around here. Except for the Sarkos. The stuff that we don't want that's trying to eat us. A lot of piranhas. A lot of piranhas. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. The cat's doing okay. I really want a better saddle for this guy, dude. Where are you going? Having problems reaching me? The pathfinding... It's it's nice because it's better. But it's bugged at the same time. It's it's super weird, dude. Super weird for some of the creatures when they're trying to attack you. Some new plants. Never seen those before. Another gator. Look, dude, if we're gonna keep seeing gators, if they're high level, we're gonna just tame one of those instead. Cause I don't know what happened to that frog. That's a level 15. Not sure what happened to the uh high level frogs I saw. I saw that one 
Up, oh, another gator. Level 10. So that 115, then the 90, and the 100. It's another gator! Both the level 15s, okay? Now, me and the cat have a lead, uh, leech. People want to call them leads, man. I'm super worried about the leads. Where's all the frogs, man? We're in the swamp, dude! There's a ton back by base, but I am not going by the attack helicopter. I don't want to die. Not to that, not today. Let's remove your... your leech. Now, this used to remove it from us as well. It does that. We need the campfire. Okay. I mean, that's a thing. That's a thing. Let's heal you up some. You're definitely going to need it. We'll go ahead and take the leech blood, though, that we have. Not sure what we'll do with it. It doesn't really uh, stay in the preserving bin too long. Drop all this junk, too. Where do we get oil from? Is that from the leeches? Do you always get oil from those? Kind of interesting. You know, I was thinking, while I was feeding this guy, it's not gonna work out! It's a Capro! Come on, dude! Alright. Okay. <laughs> it's not gonna work out using a frog for the artifact caves anymore, because the way that used to work, would I would put all of his points into speed, and he can kind of outswim most stuff. I mean, the, the alpha leads, or the alpha... The leads, dude. I'm always stuck on the leads. The alpha Moses, and stuff like that, you couldn't outrun. But all the normal stuff you could. So we might have to uh, change our plan up on that. I still want the frog, though, to get some pearls, dude. Any level frog we see, we're taming the next one that we get. I want to get out of the swamp. We've had a bad day. I've got a leech stuck to me. Was that the... Parister knocking down trees? No frogs. Zero frogs in the swamp. What kind of swamp is this? They were all over when I was on the bird. I hear big stuff behind us. I hear big stuff behind us! 45? There was something else following us. It's a Capro! Please don't! You tried and you missed! Hate those things. Hate them so much, dude. <laughs> you have no idea. Almost as much as Perlovia. I mean, they have the same effect, right? They jump out, they grab you, they cause problems. They rip you away from your team is the main thing, right? At least with Perlovia, whenever they hit you. There's a frog! We're taming you! It's a level 20. Oh, it's another Capro! We can't do a 20, dude. We can't do a 20, man! It's like taming a level 5. It's just not gonna work. There's gotta be better stuff in the swamp. Kind of a crazy color look on a berry. Level 5. Let's kill him off. If he hits us with a stun while he's in the water, it's gonna be a bad day for sure. What's gonna happen is we're gonna get stunned. A Capro's gonna come by me, rip me away from my team, and everybody's gonna die. That's the way that it goes, dude. It's Ark. Another gator. What level before I start killing you? Level 70? That's not too bad. Saw another one. Yep, there you go. Level 20. Okay, look. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, dude. There's another frog up here. Yep, 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 yep. I know, man. I know, dude. We got circles on us like crazy. I'm stuck on a tree. Where'd the frog go? I saw one. Right there. It's blue! 65. We are taming it. Let's kill this stuff off. Is there another one? What's making that noise? There's a snake over there. They're attacking something. We'll kill off the snakes too. It's another frog! What level are you? It's level 10. Okay, look. Don't be jumping in stuff you cannot handle. We good? We all right? Where is the other gator? Okay, there's a snake. We're getting that 65 that's over here. Yep, there we go, there we go. So at least we have Raw Prime to tame this guy with. There's another gator and another snake. Okay, here comes the dragonflies as well. Yep, 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 okay. Here is the full arc swamp experience. Another gator? It's like the whole family, dude. Cool texture with their skin, too, for ASA. <gasps> it's blue! It's a level 20. He's got blue on his, uh... His top, uh, little spines, fins. Scales. Not sure what you call them. Not a gator expert. Alright. We good here. Where is our frog? The cat is not good. Let's heal him up some. We got 23 on the raw prime. 
We'll use that before we use the regular Prime. Should heal him up pretty good bits. We got quite a bit of Torpor going up as well from the... Oh, it's going down now. From the snakes. And probably that frog, too. It's like a whole family of Parasaurs over there. It's kind of cool, man. Buddy! I saw you over here! It's another gator! Look, have you seen... A frog? Kind of blue. Level 65? Take that as a no. He couldn't have gone too far, right? He didn't come this way because we were killing stuff. He might have crossed the river over here. There's a frog, there's a frog, there's a frog. Might not be our frog, but it's a frog. 65, that's him. What is attacking us? Are we all right? All right. All right, one dart. I hear a snake. Two darts. No, what is over here? What is over here? What is getting mad? Please don't tear up my frog, dude. I've been looking forever for him. Stop it. Stop it. Reload, reload, reload. Very fast, reload. Leave my frog alone, dude. Okay, we killed him. He's dead. We're almost dead. Well, yep. Oh, it's a 125! Buddy, we're stuck! Get him. He's busy with the snake. Or he's busy with my frog! Get off the frog, dude! Holy crap, that guy is a- he's a tank, man! He's a natural tank! Don't kill him! I am not gonna be happy! Don't kill us. Don't kill us! I will definitely not be happy! Come on, buddy. Look, we can talk about this. We good? We alright? Holy crap, man! Junior! Junior! We have unfinished business! Missed. Right in front of us, and I missed. Got him. Missed. He, he, he dodged it! Frog has skill. Yep. 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 Look, I do not want to take a nap, dude. I do not want to take a nap, please. I want you to take a nap. Oh, there's a dragonfly. I know it's a dragonfly, but our cat is not doing very well. Gotcha. Gotcha. He's out! Alright, where's that bug at? Come here! That's what you guys deserve. Are we okay? We alright? Is everybody okay? Dragonflies aren't. You good? We alright? Are you gonna cause problems? Stay over there! There's a leech. Kill him up a little bit. Little bit. Not much. Little bit. Every little bit helps. Alright. So. Buddy. <laughs> it's been... It's been a chore, dude, getting you. Give you that. Let's give you that. Oh, he doesn't need all these. Nope. You're good on the prime meat, dude. Holy crap, he is very good on the prime meats. Wait. Wrong button. I can't get on... Well, let's remove the leech while we're here. It wasn't allowing me... There we go. There we go, buddy. There we go. You're right, Junior. You're right, man. Look, I know. I know the swamp is not safe. We talk about this all the time. You did fantastic, though. Let's put that into damage. Hopefully that Parasur stays over there. Dude, that was nuts, man. That was a 125. Oh, there's Z. <laughs> I was trying to trying to feed the guy our, uh, our food. Nice, man. Nice. Are right, you all right? Now that our raft is on the opposite side of where we need to be. Let's do this. Let's give... You that. I need to heal up some. We need to build a campfire, dude. We have the leech on us. It is killing us. Um, Everybody on passive. Let's go over here. Let's get out of the swamp. Let's get a little bit safe. A little bit safe. We can't get really safe. Just a little bit. And I want to build... Where's... Where's... Where's the frog? Junior! 
Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. You got hops, buddy. You got hops, man. You can make it. Let's grab a little bit of wood. Let's grab a little bit of thatch. Let's grab a little bit of flint. And a little bit of stone. Let's build us... Build us a campfire. We'll get rid of this leech that's attached to us. Through our metal armor. Not sure how. In the fire we go. There we go. And we're set. Turn that off. Let's demolish this. Actually, let's pick it up. We might need it again. <laughs> you never know. I should start bringing one of those with us whenever we come into the swamp. Alright, let me heal this guy up. The plan is... Let's drop all this, man. We can find wood anywhere and stuff. We good? Stop making noises. Heal this guy up. I think what we're gonna try to do is still get back to our stuff. We're gonna go kind of around the north side. West, north, south, east, west. The west, northwest side <laughs> of the swamp. And try to go around and get to our raft. Get everybody on there. We should be safe then. That is so loud in my headphones. Holy crap, is that loud in my headphones. But first of all, I need to get this guy healed up as much as I can. Because I don't want to lose him. Trying to just get a frog, you know what I mean? Not even a max level. 65. You're fine, though. Don't worry. You're all right. We'll look at his stats and stuff when we get to the raft. All right, he's healed up enough. I think what we're going to do is we're going to ride the frog. Had the cat follow us because the frog seems a little bit slower and he's getting stuck on stuff. The cat should be fine on his own if something happens. I got him on passive, though. But I want to go kind of up that way and over. It'll avoid the whole swamp area if possible. I say that as we're going right into the swamp. There's a huge snake right next to us. Now, albino one. Kind of cool. Attack him, buddy. Look, there's a lot of snakes! Are you going to just sit there? What's going on? Alright, over here we go. It's going to be a chore getting him across the water and the swamp. Let's head up to dry land up here. This should lead up and around, I think. Right? Yeah, there we go. We got trikes, man. Trikes are better than... The other stuff. It kind of leads along the outside. So that works out, man. That works out. Junior! Look, dude, the pathfinding for tame creatures is not very good. Did you get stuck on the trike? We're not here for a field trip, man. Pay attention, okay? Gotta watch out for the theories up here. I am in the market for one. Why does a frog sound like he's made of metal? With his hops? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it sounds super weird, dude. Level 15. Want a high level one. It'd be very good for getting our wood and for getting fiber. They come in. You barely see them in the grass. All right, man. Should be a straight shot over here to get to the raft. Should be. Holy crap, it does not mean that it will be. Something going on up here. Not sure what. You guys all right? We good? Is it like logging day? You guys are taking down trees like crazy. Not sure why. I did find our other frog back there, though, over on the side. The level 90 that I saw when I was on the pterodon. Of course, it figures once we get to level 65. We're not taming another one. Junior! I tell you what, dude. This cat's... Oh, you're right here. My bad, buddy. I didn't see you, man. I didn't see you. It's another frog. What level are you? If it's a 115, we're taming it. Level 10. Level 10. Okay, we're good. We're good. I feel better, man. If I would have found the 115 after everything we've been through, <laughs> that would have sucked. Oh, that would have sucked so bad. Dillo, please go somewhere else. We do not have time for you. All right. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get this thing closer to shore so we can get the cat on. Actually. Really? Come on, dude. Get out of the water, buddy. Passive. Stay there. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. You! Stop messing around! Is 
This cat's gonna be the death of me. Literally, we got a shark there too. Yep. Just waiting for us to get in the water. Look, they would've ate you for lunch. Just saying, dude. Just saying. I don't... What is that? Back up, back up, back up. Do not get in the water. Spin around. No, don't get in the water. Ah, right, man. Let's look at the stats on this guy before we end up losing him and never know what it was. So, it's a male. <laughs> Tamed out to be a level 90. We've got 1,012 on the health. Our stamina is 456. We got weight at 212 and 181 on the damage. Holy crap, dude. It has been a chore getting this guy. All right, stay there. And our cat is a female, so the one we found up on the mountain won't work. I think it was a female, too. The sharks, dude, man. I am terrified about getting in the water with the sharks. I'm just saying, it's not going to be safe. Not going to be safe. All right. I will see you back at base. You will grab our scuba. What time of day is it? It's about 2 in the afternoon. I did slow the days down, so they're not night so much. So we should be able to get back to base. Grab our scuba, get in the water, just to kind of check it out. Not sure if we're going to go on a pearl hunt today, but at least get in the water to check it out and see how the new scuba suit is and see what the uh, the area looks like. Right. I mean, they got kind of some different changes with the foliage on the ground. Kind of, uh, kind of wondering if it goes all the way out to the edge of the map or if they stop once you get to the deep parts like they usually do. Kind of sucks, man. It's like they get to the deep part and they just stop carrying on ASE for uh, making it look good, you know? Very long trip back around the map. Tell you what, man, I kind of want to <laughs> wish the base is on that side of the island here because going all the way around kind of sucks. In ASE, you could actually cut through this other section up here. It was deep enough, but I think a lot of the water level, it kind of lowered, it seems, right? Not too sure why, but definitely seems lower in a lot of places. But we'll get up here, man. We'll go ahead and get the scuba set on, jump in the water, and I think with the frog, main stats we'll pump up on him is going to be carry weight for sure, and then, of course, health, right? Try to keep him alive. Try to get this thing lined up just right. Make it look good. There we go, man. There we go. A little bit further. There we go. Nice. All right, cat. Junior, buddy. Stay here, man. Okay? Stay here. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Hopefully, you'll be fine. All right, let's leave you there. Let's empty some weight out of our inventory. We'll get rid of this and that. We'll drop everything else back in here for the moment. Can't use those in the water. And what is our weight at now? We are at 44. That's with our armor. Let's go ahead and leave this in here too. Repair it while it's in there. Close the door for safety. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Let's get on some pants. Definitely need some pants. It is different. Oh, that is fantastic. Well, let's uh, get up here in the sun. Put it all on. Take a look and see. That looks awesome, dude. Looks a lot better, man. A lot better, dude. I have our... There we go. There's our mask. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, if you're in first person, you get the mask view. If you're in third, you don't get the mask view. That is massive, dude. It always sucked. That's one reason why I never wore it. Because I hated seeing the mask view. But... You can have it on first person. Now, the question is, does it change our visibility? Let's do this. Let's get out here. Get out in the open waters where it is terrifying. Actually, right here will work out. So, kind of see how far our vision is. Let's put on these. It's no different in this or that. That's actually a massive change. See how kind of cloudy it is? And it clears up a lot in front of you. You can actually see pretty far, too. We can see the fish over there. We take it off. You can't see the fish in the distance, you know? It's kind of right at the border. Where you can see. You can see so much further. Oh, that is awesome. Huge changes with the mask, man. Just not having the, the mask view. We still have it if you want it. But I'm glad it didn't make it to where you had less view range. Being zoomed out. I mean, here's a good, uh, good test too, right? With it off, you can't see nothing. Can't see the bottom or anything. Put it on, you can fully see the bottom and then way out. Oh, dude. Really happy. Really happy with that. 
I, uh, I do scuba diving, uh, real life. So, any changes for underwater stuff? It's fantastic. We got lights under here, too. What is that all about? Is that just to make it brighter? You can see so much easier underwater now. So, one, those are new. Two, this cave used to not be here. Not a cave, but the, kind of like the, uh, the overhang. I really hope it goes all the way out to the map border. If they did, that's, that's very nice. What is that? Oh, it's a basil. Level 10. We'll kill it off for some, uh, for some oil for sure. Speaking of oil, the oil nodes are underwater still. Oh, dude, that is terrifying, man. How deep it goes off? I like how there's a shelf system, right? It's not just a slow slope. It's, uh, it's got shelves that drop off. And then you got the lights too, man! This whole thing with this new graphics engine, and, uh, being able to see, like, nighttime without using the gamma settings, and underwater. Now, it might change whenever it gets dark. But, I mean, it's kind of nighttime, so it should be harder to see. I don't see any... There's the map border right there. So it literally does go all the way out to the map border. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. A very, very nice improvement. I don't see any jellyfish. Which isn't a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, we do need some for the biotoxin. Not today, but we are going to need some. Maybe next video we'll come out and do some hunting for biotoxin. We'll grab some pearls and get ready to get some electricity. And there's a shark I'm kind of worried about, dude. Our frog is super low level. Speaking of that, let's put some points into health. Help keep you alive. If your little fins get nibbled on, can we outrun a Meg? If we can't, we have a problem. We can. Little fish down here, too. Neon looking fish. I can't tell you how much this makes me happy seeing uh, the underworld, like the uh, underwater world, get reworked as well. And I like these, man. I like exploring and finding little, uh, not really caves. This actually might be a cave. Oh, it's a huge overhang. It's kind of cool, man. Makes it worth it. I can't wait to start building an underwater base now. Once we get the tech stuff unlocked. We're probably a long ways away from that, but... Definitely want to build one underwater, too. I'm kind of curious how the new teleporters work. They're supposed to be three different sizes. They're supposed to be like a small, medium, and large. I'm hoping the small kind of takes after the S plus one that was just a, like a little post that kind of went at your base. It's awesome, though. Oh, that is so awesome. How far did we swim? We actually swim a good little ways away from base. Let's take this off. Just for repair purposes. I mean, we don't have to repair it before the next video. I think what we'll end up doing is, like I said, grabbing some pearls. We'll do some biotoxin farming. Maybe we'll do a, a underwater video in the next one. Do some exploring, check around and stuff. Maybe we'll go over and try to grab an artifact. I don't know. Won't say it for sure. Ah, uh, dude. Well, fantastic day. Started off kind of good. Got pretty sketchy whenever we got to the swamp. I mean, it's a swamp, dude. It's never safe. Never a good thing. We did get us a frog. Not the one that I wanted, but this one does work out. Got a shotgun finally to protect us. We've got the scuba suit. That is fantastic, man. Awesome changes on that. And the underwater. We finally took a look at that. It looks fantastic. Super excited for doing stuff in the caves underwater. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.